Hello and welcome to chapter 159 of our streaming adventure. Today is Tuesday. That means we bring a dog in here who is obviously excited to go outside. No, uh, Tuesday is meant to be, quote, bruise day, unquote, where we try to either catch something that caught our eye over the previous week or just a new idea or so if you remember last thursday we were supposed to be prepping for the weekend and instead decided to start playing a whole bunch of lands and fast bond and stuff like that so this I, I took the list that I was that we had worked on last time and I made some slight tweaks. I took Uro out just because I don't know, it didn't feel like we were ever going to be in a situation where we would actually use Uro. And I turned that into a similarly broken Simic card in Oko. And then the other thing is I, I threw a life from the loam in the sideboard. Now I don't know if that's actually worthwhile because the kind of deck that's going to mess with us life from the loam isn't going to stop them so never mind let's get life from the loam back out i was trying to think of what is something that we could put a time twister in there how is that any better redraw all the lands to our hand and then play them all over again that could be exciting um <clears throat> I think the Force of Vigors and the Ley Line. I was trying to be creative. This is this is the point of trying to brew up something. No. Um, I was trying to think, like, what would be worthwhile out of the sideboard to potentially... Because I believe you said when you built the list originally... You were just kind of putting generic things in the sideboard. And so I, I, I wanted them to maybe be a little bit more targeted, but like Archive Trap, maybe something against like it, like if, if Breach. <laughs> that would certainly be a twist against. against something like bug if they were going to have like a bunch of wastelands and death right shaman stuff like that sideboard oath package i mean it's definitely it's definitely not expected whatever this is oath keeper <clears throat> it's not but they didn't have the right art one so we like awkwardly have we awkwardly have a 3-1 split. Would we want Should we have Caracas in the main? Forbidden Orchard. Yeah, like I I figured because I, I looked into it more. My wife's birthday is actually the day of the Mana Trader Swiss. So I don't know if I should actually be trying to qualify or is that just shooting myself in the foot? But. I mean, Caracas. Caracas really doesn't have that many targets in Vintage. Especially like something like Sphinx. Uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind is problematic. Um, we, would, we would not have an answer for Sphinx of the Steel Wind, but I mean, otherwise... Yeah, we will never actually use the white from Caracas... 
like I, I don't know if you got to watch the games from last Thursday, but the games from last Thursday were interesting because of how well things seem to go, honestly. The a lot of like early turn one, turn two wins, as well as I guess if we get an Emrakul, we'll never actually cast the Emrakul, or could or could we have 15 mana? I'm not sure we could have 15 mana to cast the Emrakul. But it's I'm not necessarily building it right now. I'm just kind of messing with what we had already played last. You could wasteland yourself to produce mana. That's true. How many creatures do I have? Seven, right? I was trying to make a seven card Oath of Druids package. And then look at that. My how smartly my Oko feeds the Oath of Druids package. I mean, this is just this is just good deck building. And then we had the thought of rolling vortex and stuff, but we could just take that out. Be a be a streamlined sideboard. All right, so I think I want to play one for fun, and then maybe we wade into the mana traders. So let's go to tournament practice. Wait, do the leagues end soon? Leagues close in two weeks. Okay, so let's play one for fun. See if we can get somebody to bite. That's true. If we had if we had a fast bond effect already in play and then we just oath and do an excavator, aren't we just good to go? Should we have tireless tracker in the sideboard? Just take it to the streets. P.S. If anybody in the audience wants to join in our challenge, I just I literally just want to try out the deck idea. So as always, feel free to challenge with some kind of deck just so we can mess around. I'm I'm considering jumping into Manic Traders with this. I just want to I want to try one first, see what the slight changes jump in slasher. Hop in there. I'm in tournament practice. I'm just waiting for you. Okay. All right. So, of course, we have the turn one fast bond, but we don't actually have green mana. I don't think you I don't think you can keep without red mana and there's no or green mana, there's no like exploration here. Okay, here's literally exploration. I mean this is everything I want. How do I one, two? I have unlimited strip. Why would I have to put a card back? This is BS. So if I turn one exploration, I get to play one, two. That's true. Just this exploration doesn't speed me up as much as I need it to.
Pass. If you're playing like Dredge or whatever, you suck. You got some shops for me? X equals one. Fooled you. I don't got none of those. I mean, until I do. So if I play Exploration, That's a good one. Bang! So they have multiple activations, right? So they can't let me draw the strip mine. I guess I do not currently have the Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> okay, so we need to basically find Oko. If we can find Oko, no, Force of Vigor is not in the main. Could I draw more Ramunap excavators? Uh, there is the there is the play glacial chasm. We couldn't get there though. <clears throat> So I cannot play, I could cast this, but it doesn't do anything. Three, four. Dummy, why did you look? Well, I think that's an easy one. I think we can cut. Now, do I'm trying to think, do they have 
I can't remember whether or not they play. Um, I'm literally blanking on the card name. Crucible. If they have a, if they, if they're a Crucible deck, it feels like they theoretically would be, but it feels like they should be actually. Um, I could also, they can copy this, can they not? What is, what does Mirage Mirror do? Okay. I like the idea of Oko. I kind of maybe want another Oko. Nope. Yep. Sure. Now the question is, do I need to play any of all, do I, I don't have to. I'm worried about some kind of, I guess, is there anything to really worry about there? No. Sure. You fool. Said being on the draw sucks. Well, yeah. Sure. So this costs I would have to wait to deploy it. No. If I say I want to cast it for alternate if I cast it for alternate, it should cost three because it will zero plus two, round up to three, and then set. Yep. Yeah. So it's either six or three. But so it's not with what I have available, so I'll wait. So that could put me at six. And then I would at least have responses if they went for Helm. Because if they have another Mistress Workshop, Helm costs six, and then they'd have their one to activate. So this would at least protect me from getting wrecked.
Okay, so they currently don't have the mana to do that yet. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, that one uh, has fallen a little short. Not quite the beats we were going for there. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking about it last turn, but I think I'm going to do it this turn. I think I at least take out the ley line. I think the other one can give me basic still. Ley line in a sphere or ley line in trinosphere? I think ley line and trinosphere. So if I draw Oko, if I draw, I don't know, a variety of things. Because this, this limits my cards that cost more than three. Or this makes my cards that cost three or more over the top. So I think I'm going to go after that one. Okay, so if we draw a wasteland, we just kill everything on their side. Or a crop rotation, or a bazaar from Baghdad. Bombs over Baghdad. No, we would need to have a second. We would need to have a second source. Or it depends on, I guess it depends on just what we draw. Come on, man. Well, we have multiple shots next turn. You cast a spell that's cheating. Yeah, but we're going to have double bizarre to dig rather deeply. That's not a bad idea. Dig it on the upkeep. So they currently, they're still one mana away from doing it. So otherwise, I would lose the card that I'm going to draw. I currently don't have a creature in there, right? Yeah, all of that stuff would have been so much nicer. Oh. 
I don't get to keep a card, Steve, because I'll have one card in hand, and then I'm going to throw three away. So it's not worth it. Oh, are you saying to keep the Force of Vigor? I see what you're saying. You're dead. That I screwed up, I feel like. Sure. I didn't mean to activate this. I thought I was on my main phase. Nice. So, I don't have a way to kill it, though, right? I would need to... Yeah, I, we never hit, we got a Wasteland and a Strip Mine Exiled, but in the last 32 cards, we have two Wastes, a Strip, and four Ghost Court. We have like six more. That sucks. Or a Fetch Land. So we were like that half turn. We were very close each time. So what, what went wrong there? Should have held Force of Vigor if instead of trying to clear the stuff away. So if we would, if we would have held Force of Vigor, that means we get to draw for the turn and then at least have... Activate Bizarre, look at four cards, get to keep one of them. Instead of by activating Bizarre, I threw them directly into the trash. I agree with that. That had we had we literally just waited, we could have gotten at least one more card in hand first. And then... What else? The the chalice on one in the first game. I think the first time when there was no chance, that was okay. But once we had a card in hand that we didn't want to immediately necessarily throw away, I think it was worth it to hold on to. 